It's true. I got robbed. Hey, this video is brought to you by uh, nobody. I just want to let you know. Back next time you film something, make sure you got some headroom. Don't be like me. What's up, guys? I'm back with a new video. I know, it's crazy. But anyway, I want to say that I went to Las Vegas with my parents because I've always wanted to go to Vegas. My dad has as well. And I'm like, hey, why not take the parents over there and have a little fun time, you know? Well, it wasn't that fun. No, I'm kidding. It was pretty great, but there were some pros and cons. So to start off, my dad is big about saving money. So he grabbed this Motel 6. I know. I know, you don't have to tell me. My mindset was like, well, we're only gonna be here one night, then we're gonna go to Planet Hollywood. So I was just like, you know what? I'll deal with it. Just for one night, we won't, we'll barely be here. We'll be out on the strip. Needless to say, this was a bad idea. Five hours later, we came back and the door was open and all my stuff was out. And I was like, did I leave it like this before? That's kind of weird. What's going on here? Everything was out of my bag. My mother's purse was gone. Stole her, all her credit cards, $180 she had in there. And then took a couple of shirts of my father's, but nothing from me. My $200 sunglasses still chilling there. Took the car keys though. That wasn't fun. But I was just like, dang i'm not that good enough to rob from like what's going on here we're kind of fretting and i'm just over here getting pissed i'm just like i freaking hate motel 6 see i said it never again yeah i'm out of you out i've never had any good experiences at motel 6 i don't care what the price is it might as well be free because it's horrible <laughs> but we call the security over there they, uh, they call the police talked to the guy over there he was pretty chill actually had a good little conversation and then we realized oh yeah we got robbed yeah so you know did a police report all that stuff and then we realized, we are like, oh crap, how's my mom gonna get back? It's like, she has no ID. Now, of course, frequent flyers. I understand you probably like, oh, that's easy. Yeah, that's all we did. We went up there. They asked her information about like, are you really who you think you are? So yeah, I got through that. So that was cool. But then we had some more problems on the flight back home. Me and my parents, we fly none revenue. We were standby. So we're just like, okay, cool. We're gonna get in here and then get out when we want. That was a lie. I uh, am not the brightest guy, I admit. I was thinking like, oh, spring break, it's over. It's only for one week for every single school in the same week. No, it was easy getting there. But trying to leave Las Vegas was a hassle. And the day we were trying to leave, we ended up staying another night to postpone that. Honestly, I feel like it was great that we did stay another night because it was kind of the first two nights were kind of hectic. We're doing this, we're doing that. The last night we were just chilling, looking out at the strip, looking out at all the people, had music playing. At, we're at this Mexican restaurant. It was nice. It was pleasant. It was a good way to end off the Las Vegas trip. But of course, trying to get home was the most difficult thing. <laughs> we were flying Southwest Airlines, and of course being, you know, still spring break, every flight was full. It was legit in like the negatives. So it was overbooked on every single flight trying to get out of Las Vegas. Let me go check other airports. So I checked Phoenix, you know, I checked Utah, all booked. Like I said, pros and cons. And I'm like, okay, well let's do the old fashioned rent a car and drive home. Nobody would rent us a car. You've got to be kidding me. We're trying to not buy a ticket on the way home, but we're just like, you know what, screw it. I hate standby, so let's just go and fly Delta. So that was the first time flying Delta. It was nice. The airport I'm trying to get back to get home, the flights were canceled because of bad weather. We had to fly over Texas all the way to Atlanta. And then we had to fly to New Orleans and have family pick us up, which is like a two and a half hour drive. And I'm just like, wow, very pleasant. <laughs> but other than that, it was a fun time. There were so many different cultures there and there's so much things to do. I was thinking like, how am I gonna do all these things? I got to see the Bellagio Fountain, which was very cool. You could take a day, you could take friends, you know. I would not recommend taking children though. It's not really a, a city for children. And naturally, you know, big places, they, they're always crackheads be like, hey, take this, hey, take that, you know, take this card. But I don't know, for some reason, I've just got used to just keep on walking, just walk. But I got to see the actual Pawn Stars. I don't know if you ever watched that show, but uh, their actual store is literally like in the middle of nowhere, like in old Vegas. I was like, man, this place is going down here. Then boom, there's Pawn Stars. I was like, what? But one thing I really enjoyed was the Slotzilla. The zip line, it was freaking amazing, bro. I did get ripped off though. Even the lady there, she was telling me that like, oh yeah, that's how they get you. Because I was trying to get a GoPro to record myself while I went down the zip line. I paid for it. And then when I went up there, I'm like, where's the GoPro? And they said, you have to like rent it downstairs or like bring your own. I was just like, well, why did nobody tell me this? <laughs> so you live and learn. It is what it is. The food was great, but I didn't just want to go and just explore, eat some food and see how the people live there, I guess, and the environment, the atmosphere. I kind of wanted to do something. So this zip line was very fun. I definitely needed that. Like I was really like, just like wanted to do something I don't usually do. While I got up there, you're thinking like, oh, it's gonna stop here. And the elevator just keeps going up. You're just like, oh wow, I'm really high up. <laughs> if you ever plan on doing this, just don't try to think about that. You know, it is difficult because it's like a slow process of waiting in line and then you're finally getting on the uh, little mat and while they're raising you up you're just there waiting and you're just like don't think about it don't think about it and then once they let it down just kick off and go and a good thing what I like is they're just like ready 
go. You don't even think about it. You just do it. After that, I just enjoyed it. <laughs> then by the time I was getting to the end, I was looking at down at people while they're looking at me. I was just like, yo, like this is so fun. I would definitely do it again. If I went back to Fremont, that's where it was, by the way. I would definitely go back and do it again. And also, obviously, if you like gambling, Las Vegas is the place to be. Once I got to the airport, it was legit like a gambling session. I even went to a candy store and there was a casino. I kid you not, Las Vegas is Casino City. I don't know what's gonna happen to this video though because as I say, everything happens in Vegas, stay in Vegas. So me talking about Vegas, what's gonna happen? There were definitely a lot of interesting people in Vegas. Here's a little tip if you go to Vegas and you've never been. If you don't wanna take pictures with anybody, do not because the half-naked girls or Mickey Mouse comes up and try to take a picture with you. They're wanting to get paid, just like in New York. Also, I have to say transportation. I know I'm giving like tips now to go to Vegas, but honestly, transportation is so good. Like Uber, taxi, the monorail, buses, it's very convenient in Vegas. And I wish I had that where I live. It's so convenient, everything's right there. Although I gotta say, no offense Walgreens, but you're freaking everywhere. I'm getting tired of seeing you in Vegas, like stop. But I appreciate the convenience. All in all, good times, bad times in Vegas. And will I go back to Vegas? Yeah. Will I go back to Motel 6? No. <laughs>